Alright everybody, we have insane news right now. Roger is getting buffed. Only three characters are getting buffed. Usually we get like at least six. And they're doing Roger before Odin. Like the other Roger is already the best character in the game still. He'll probably fall off, but... We're getting uh, OG, Warlord Jimbei, Marine Ford Luffy, and R Goldie Roger, of course, uh, attacker, green attacker. Uh, let's see, okay, they do have the thing, so uh, this will be implemented the 13th, it seems, so a uh, day after One Piece Day or something. Uh, so we got, hey, we'll, we'll look at, yeah, we'll look at Roger first, might as well. So, uh, adjust normal attacks, increase attack range, faster... Evasion timing, faster transition timing between actions. Step one, increase distance forward. Step three, increase distance forward. Dang, so his normal reach farther. That's already insane. So, uh, when you're just using his normals, you can hit people from farther than usual, which is insane already. Roger, honestly, this Roger, he still can be played pretty easily. This is like the first EX that can actually be in the meta without dying of course he's not as good as he used to be but he is still insane all right so we got skill one so this is before changes we got skill one skill power 549 defense reduction by 10 percent effect time 20 seconds cooldown 29 seconds this is all skill one so oh my look at this like we're like 20 paragraphs what the heck is this after changes nullify stagger for a set period of time was changed to become temporarily invincible after use finally he got an invincible skill finally he's he's the only yeah i think roger's the only character who doesn't have an invincible so because i think bb's black hole is invincible and then shanks technically counter makes him technically invincible technically no it's not invincible skill but you can't really attack him unless if you want to die Increase attack range. This is skill one now. I think yeah, this is skill one so you can come sorry even farther Increase distance of the flinch not sure what that means Yeah, I'm not sure what that necessarily means. It doesn't mean the stun or anything I don't think when enemies are hit increase distance of flinch when enemies are hit Is that like how much they slide backwards when you hit them something like that? Faster invasion timing, faster transition timing between actions. So he his skill is faster. Like this attack's gonna be undodgeable almost. Uh, step one. So this has not changed. You can see skill power five nine four five nine four. But this attack already has insane damage. Uh, we got knockback effect now and ignore obst. What he can t what he can attack people through walls now too with come sorry. What? That's just like V2 Roger, and you can just slice through the walls now. That is insane. Uh, defense reduction by 10%, uh, step 1. And that's the same, right? Yeah, defense protection by whatever. So, uh, I, so the yellow are new, the white are the same. Effect time 29 seconds, or 20 seconds. This one's 29, so I guess. I mean, no, that's something different. And then here's the 29 seconds. He can attack through walls. Skill 2, step 1, damage reduction 70%. Uh, this is before buffs, of course. Skill power 764. Cooldown 44 seconds. And for all they did for here is they just made it 38 seconds, which is pretty, like, that's 6 seconds. Plus, if you have, like, skills, that's going to go down even further. Uh, this is the trait. I uh, this is gonna oh dang he has like 30 paragraphs When you uh, so this is before boss, you know, I'm just gonna scroll through I'm not gonna actually no we will you when you nullify stun defense boost by 70% for 10% attack cannot stack for a set period of time after using skill 2 Change down to a stagger effect and nullify status effect when attacking enemy whose parameters are boosted increase damage up by 30% when dealing damage to an enemy with 70% or more of their max HP remaining inflict self with nullify stagger for 10 seconds uh, after receiving damage from an enemy, which is 20% or more, your max HP, recover HP by 30% and reduce damage. Uh, when attacking an enemy with skill 1, increase attack by 20% and resist being once being KO'd. When your team has less treasure secured, boost the cooldown of skill 2 by 50% after KO'ing an enemy, reduce the skill down of cool 1. Dang, that's insane. Alright, we're just going to read the yellow now since we read this. So, of course, this is the same. Uh, when your HP is 50%, or more nullify immobilizing stat effects so that's insane he's gonna be a v1 roger counter already well nullifying status effect infected by enemy 
defense boost. Okay, so this is different. They kept this, but when nullifying status effect inflicted by enemy, they put in. For a set period of time after using skill 2, resist stagger or being down and uh, whatever. So uh, they added resist stagger and being down and knock back. So this is the same. They just added that. Uh, this is the same and remove. So increase damage dealt by 30% and remove status effect applied to the enemy. Buff their target for a certain period of time. When this trait is activated, it also nullifies status effect applied to enemy. Does not apply to invincibility. Okay, so he can uh, remove status effect supplied by enemy. Wait, isn't that just... I don't know. I thought that was just this right here. Yeah, and I'm not sure why he has it twice. Uh, but I think he can debuff the character if their parameters are boosted. So, when dealing damage to an enemy with 70% more than the max and three, inflict self with nullify stagger for 20 seconds instead of 10 seconds. So, they changed it to 20. This is exactly the same. They made uh, attack 25% instead of 20%, and then they added plus recovery HP equal to 50% of the damage dealt up to 5,000. What? That is insane. I mean, up to 5,000. With Roger's attack, though, power, you're going to be getting the 5,000 every time. And then finally, after killing an enemy, you reduce the cooldown of the skill by 30% and recover HP by 30%. 15 to 30%? That's insane, also. The character traits when you know if I stun defense boost by 70% for 17 or for 10 seconds cannot be stacked. Has been folded into character trait when you know if I stats effective for by enemy defense boost 20%. Roger honestly might become number one in the game. Oops. Right. Um, yeah, he might honestly be number one. I think he's beating Dark Roger and I think Dark Roger at the moment is still the best character in the game. Alright, we'll just go through... Uh, Jinbei quickly. Parameters adjust. Increase in HP, attack, and defense. So increases base stats, I believe that means. Uh, faster attack activation. Increase damage range. Faster evasion timing. Faster transition timing between action. Increase distance forward. Increase distance of flinch. I'm not sure what flinch is. I don't know if I'm just stupid, but I have no clue what flinch is. Increase time enemies are inflicted with stagger when hit. Increase distance forward. Increase distance of flinch when enemies are hit. I don't know, I think flinch is just, like, I thought it would be something like stun, but I don't think it is. I think it's just when you hit them and they just fall backwards, not knock back, but they, like, slide, can slide backwards. Alright, so before changes, step 1, 2, skill power, 362, they didn't change that. Cooldown 37 seconds, uh, that didn't change that. Power user increased damage inflicted by 200%, they didn't change that. 200% is insane. Alright, so faster attack and facing, increased attack range, faster evasion timing, faster transition timing between actions. Step 1, skill power, max 2 consecutive hits. Step 2, skill power, max 2 consecutive hits. So they increased the damage here. They added max consecutive hits here. And uh, for this, we got skill power 660. That's the same. Knockback effect, same. Speed reduction, same. Effect, same. And then cooldown, same. But then they add fast attack activation, increased attack range, faster evasion timing, faster transition timing between actions. And then this is... Is this Luffy now? No, this is a trait. Okay. So when attacking characters who power use their enemy, increase damage dealt, same. And increase power of skill 2 by 5% up to max 50% resist when skill 2 is being used or KO. Okay. When attacking character type, power use your enemy, reduce the cooldown of whatever... And recover 5 HP when the enemy has inflicted you with status effect. Reduce the cooldown time of skill 2 by 10%. Recover HP by 15%. Reduce the effect time of status effect inflicted by enemies by 80%. Yeah, I think Jinbei is going to be pretty good. Of course, Roger is going to overshadow him. But he's going to be a solid buff. He will be usable and reduce damage to by 30% they added from this. When there are 90 seconds left or more, it was 60 before. Now it's 90. Uh, remaining increased damage dealt by 20%. That's pretty cool. And boost the cooldown reduction speed by skill 1 by hunt. Dang, so once you reach, what, 1 minute and 30 seconds, you instantly get skill 1 cooldown. And then when your HP is 70% or more, you use this stagger and be knocked back. Pretty, pretty good. Here's, uh, this is a free-to-play Luffy. Uh, everyone should have him if you're in, like, what, B-plus league or something, I think. 
Increase damage dealt with normal attacks, faster evasion time, and faster transition time between actions. Step 1, increase range and attack range. Step 1, faster attack activation. Increase uh, distance of flinch when enemies are hit. Increase time. Enemies are inflicted with stagger than hit. Increase uh, attack range. Faster attack activation. Increase time. Enemies are inflicted with stagger when being hit. Increase distance of flinch when enemies are hit. Alright, you can read that. I'm just going to read the buff part now. Uh, faster attack activation increase area in which will face towards enemies when used increase distance of flinch when enemies are hit faster evasion time and faster transition between actions not back effect 42 seconds instead of 48 increase damage inflicted by 100% skill 2 added stagger nullified for a set period of time faster attack activation increase attack range increase distance forward increase distance of flinch when enemies are hit faster evasion time faster transition timing actions and then they kept this the same character trait while you are capturing the treasure resist stagger and be down dang for a free to play character that's kind of insane you reduce damage received by 30 percent when using skill one attack boost for 20 seconds with 20% for 10 seconds cannot stack when using skill 2 speed boost by 20% for 10 seconds cannot stack when in treasure area reduce damage is received by 30 seconds or 30% uh, When allies are not near the treasure area where you are increase the treasure gauge amount when you capture the treasure and boost capture speed by 30 or 50% That's pretty cool. So he can uh, fill it further after he captures it I believe that's kind of like Robin still except he just straight up does it and then when you capture treasure, reduce the cooldown time of skill 1 by 30% and recover HP 20%. Pretty insane boss. Roger is going to be up there. He's going to be top 5 in the game easily just from uh, his attack. He can shoot through walls now. Insane attack. Uh, insane. He finally has a stupid invincible skill. But yeah, pretty good boss overall. But we will have to see on the 13th when Roger comes out.